When Tina first told me about the trip, I can't really say I understood the impact of what we'd be going there to do. A month later, I was traveling overseas with a team of pediatric massage therapists who were on a mission to spread the power of nurturing touch to some of the world's most impoverished children. I was there to document the experience. Tina, the founder and director of Little Kids Foundation, is the one who brought this whole thing together, including our team from all over the U.S. and Canada. And this is our story of our little trip to Vietnam. Over the course of 18 days, we traveled all over the country, from the southern Mekong all the way up to the beautiful Halong Bay. And during our time, we had the amazing privilege of working with a wide array of orphanages, government buildings, schools, and charity centers. When we first arrived in Ho Chi Minh City, we were greeted by a wonderful man named Chan Ding Song, but his good friends like to call him Mr. Song. Because Tina had taken a team a couple years back, this meeting for a few was more like a reunion. For the rest of us, it was an introduction. Song was our tour guide, translator, and as we would all soon discover, an avid pediatric massage enthusiast. And this is where our story really begins. Thì so depending on how the babies are, if they can lay on their back and have massage, it's great. But also you can do massage if they're sitting in your lap, if you're holding them. Tại vì khi các cháu thường thường có có cháu nhặt về từ 3 tuổi, từ sơ sinh cho đến 3 tuổi Vì đó là một cái tinh thần mà các cháu cảm giác như đó là một người mẹ. Sau khi được bên tổ chức đến à, huấn luyện và hỗ trợ cho các bảo mẫu tập để mà điều trị bệnh, thì bắt đầu từ đó bảo mẫu người ta cứ kế tiếp kế tiếp mỗi ngày. Mỗi lần các cháu bệnh thì họ sử dụng theo cái cách đào tạo của các Dạ thưa bây giờ các cháu là nó đỡ rất là nhiều vì cứ một mỗi buổi tối là trước khi đi ngủ thì bảo mẫu luôn luôn uh, massage cho các em để cho các cháu giảm được rất là nhiều bệnh tật thì cái đó là giúp được tại vì mỗi lần các cháu đi bệnh viện là tốn kém rất là nhiều tốn kém vừa con người tốn kém vừa tài chính và tốn kém thời gian tốn kém rất là mọi sự thì hiện tới giờ phút này là giảm đi một số lượng rất là lớn thì đó là cũng giống như là một cái 
phần thưởng vô cùng quý giá của trong tổ chức giúp cho. There you go. When I started working with him today, he was pulling up a lot to try to stand up and um, it was really interesting because I noticed he's really trying to stand up so I just started working with him with his feet and I don't think the caregivers have ever really seen him plant his foot flat so I started putting it flat and those are probably some of his very first steps and I don't, I don't think the caregivers have ever seen him walk before so it's awesome and they were as soon as they saw it they came over and started helping put his feet flat so I have a feeling they're going to continue that on which is a really great thing yeah qua cái nuôi dưỡng các cháu cô nhi tại trung tâm thì trước hết là Tiểu Hương rất là vui mừng được tổ chức Lokit Foundation đến với trung tâm à, đã giúp đỡ và tạo mọi điều kiện cho trung tâm để cứu các cháu qua những cái bàn tay nhân ái và cái lòng bác ái đặc biệt là sự truyền đạt lại của các bác sĩ dành cho các bà mẫu tại trung tâm. Our time spent at the charity center wasn't a getting your feet wet sort of experience. Tina had us dive right in, and that really set a great tone for the rest of our trip. Getting around Vietnam was an adventure in and of itself. Every scene felt so surreal, like something from a movie. It's amazing how many new experiences we could have in such a short amount of time. That's something from the world. That's the cannon bullet. We fix up the gun with inside to make it very heavy. It's about 10 kilo. We're in the Mekong Delta at a little craft market where they make rice paper, toffee candies, amazing candy ginger. And we're having a little snack right now. And the snack is a little assortment and array of what we um, have just witnessed everybody making, all the artisans. An amazing, amazing jasmine tea. I, I highly recommend the jasmine tea. Yeah, cheers. Bottoms up, guys. Great to meet all of you. Yeah. Yeah. After spending a couple days working at a government building off the Mekong, we continued our journey up north to work at a pagoda where about 100 caregivers gathered from all over to gain an understanding of pediatric massage. They would bring what they had learned back to the children they work with. My name is Thao. I work for one tourism company and I also, you know, the volunteer for this pagoda where today, you know, the Little Kid Foundation come to do the charity activity. We're really honored to be invited to come to visit with you today and hope that the information we share will be helpful for your children and the older people as well. We want to work with the seniors if we have a chance as well. Thank you so much. I am joined today by volunteers from all over the United States and Canada who have traveled to be here as well and are more than happy to help with the teaching. So please ask for their help at any time during our lessons. Little Kid Foundation come to Vietnam and you know to share the technique and to help the our people, our you know caretaker, and uh, to help you know uh, the kid uh, to be care in the orphanage. There's massage for children with different kinds of needs as well. So as you think of the children that you work with, please let us know so we can teach you special techniques. Just warm our hands. And if you can look at the child's eyes, great. I just recognize that very, how say, very deep emotion, you know, from the, from the technique to enhance, to increase the mental health and the physical health for the children.
you change for what I study today for many, many another, you know, caretaker in our country. That's, that's great. And yeah. if you learn from any of them that they need some more booklets, anything, we brought in a lot <laughs> yes. to make sure that everyone who came has it and also to take it back. Because I want to see it spread all throughout the for every child. So every caregiver can share it and make sure that everyone can share it. Yeah, yeah. for all kids. Yeah. I give a hug. Thank you, Tina. Yeah. our way up to the country's capital, Hanoi. To get there, we had to travel through the hill country of Vietnam. There were some memorable stops along the way, but none compared to our time spent at an orphanage in Phu Lo. It was here where I first witnessed Tina encouraging our team to teach others what she had passed on to them. Or little groups, we have to small sister Mary Nga. I'm a director, the director of this center. Hello! Here we have a total of uh, 76, and uh, we work from Monday to Thursday. On Friday and Saturday, we go to the communities to work with the disabled people. Two year old ten, the kids foundation and come and help the children and the sisters and the collaborators. And this is our second time. This is me. He's about eight years old. And he loves cars and buses, so we went for a tour of the bus. And he is really excited. Yes. Good job. Okay, now let's do the other side. There you go. Ready? This way. We hope uh, with what we learn from the key foundations, and we will practice in the future for the children and the parents. They can they learn some and they bring home and they practice for their children. I think that's a message very important for the kids, especially the uh, the kids who are uh, poor and. Uh, not in a, not care enough in their parents. Yes. Uh, massage, it touch their skin and their body and and start uh, touch their heart and let them be uh, happy, be happy to feel that they are uh, beloved. There's a lot more that I could share about our time overseas. But those stories are for another time. I will share a few lessons that I learned along the way. I learned that even a massage therapist needs a certain type of therapy every now and again. I learned that there are certain fashion trends that I don't ever see becoming popularized. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> and I learned that my facial hair was the catalyst for quite a bit of amusement among the three to five-year-old crowd. But the most important lesson that I learned is that during our time in Vietnam, we were passing on something that would last. We taught with more than words. 
what we gave to the caregivers in Vietnam was not only something that they could use, we were giving something that could be shared with others. Because we weren't there to just start a fire, we were there to pass a torch so that the work of Little Kids Foundation could continue long after we went home. I would say it's a very horrible and vulnerable time over here. Mm -hmm. So they had to move away uh, from the garden and, and they call that the jungle. Is it right? Jungle, yeah. And they run away the jungle, come up here and that was on the two back here, you see, because of some of the spider and some <laughs> rock, whack, 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 whack. It's make them so scared they can't come up here to spend the night. <laughs> Whole night and well up to 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> You're awesome, awesome, awesome.